Yes, I'm going to talk to you about um, different examples of sustainability projects in Norwegian libraries. Um, the first one is called um, Libraries as Co-Creator and Community Developer. It's a model for engaging citizens in solving local challenges. Uh, the Norwegian government has decided that the UN sustainability goals are to be used in all regional and municipal planning. Sustainability goal number 17, partnership for goals and cooperation is key words to achieve the goals. Community developing and co-creation has a democratic reign and social sustainability is about a good life how to live in our local community, and about using our common resources as best as possible. Uh, libraries must be innovative and relevant community developers. Libraries must become an active participant in solving the challenges they face in the local community. Before the break uh, earlier today, the architect had an interesting talk about co-creation with children and young people and city development. The goal for this project was for the libraries to work more together with the local community and to solve common tasks, problems and challenges. Community development and co-creation is a process where citizens, public organizations, businesses and civil society create and develop sustainable solutions together. The topics or challenges the libraries wanted to solve together with the citizens varied. Different challenges in different communities. The participants, uh, participants from the public libraries worked on different kinds of issues based on the problems and needs in the local community. The libraries participating in this project um, invited citizens to workshops to discuss local problems. The libraries had no answer to the problem. Co-creating is to find the best solution to the problem together. Co-creation meant it means not only listen to the citizens, but to involve them in the development. Libraries participating in co-creating experience that meeting people with different professions, different knowledge and different background was difficult. The libraries experienced how important it was to be, to use the method and the tools established by the project for this co-creation and to learn from other libraries in the project and learning by doing. Um, the public library of Gestal experienced through this project that um, with the help of the tools of the co-creating and um, they got to know the public, uh, the library got to become a very better acquainted with uh, the citizens. As a result of the project, we know our local community much better now, and we have discovered a strong commitment from them. We have changed our way on how we welcome our citizens and their ideas. Now we welcome any initiative from the citizens and try to find out how we can change things together. Our thinking is very often about reaching goals and results, but a lot of things do happen on our way to the target. This public library used the co-creating method and tools to involve young people in the design of a new youth center. Um, Co-creation has become very popular among libraries and several libraries are using it to have better relationship with the local community. Now about a project called um, United Nations SDG Book Club. 
Um, this sustainability library is a literature project. It is the Norwegian version of the UN's SDG book club. It was started up by Norwegian publishers, but now it is a cooperation between publishers, libraries, and different readers and authors' organizations. The project is intended to give young people and children from the age 6 to 12 literary experiences and constructive understanding of the UN's sustainability goals. This um, sustainability library is not a physical library, um, but it is a library that consists of book lists and activity material linked to each of the 17 sustainability goals. The library offers the participants a literary and conversation-based understanding of the sustainability goals and the world common work plan on how we will be able to reach the goals. The library consists of book lists, which follow up and uh, follow-up materials and activity materials. Each list is linked to one sustainability goal that is briefly explained. The books on the list are divided into different age groups and organized so that it's easy to find uh, titles suitable for children with different reading skills. The sustainability library wants to show how important it is to have relevant literature for the kids and youngsters for them to understand what the SDGs are all about. All literature is, of course, in Norwegian. Uh, the Sustainability Library functions as a conversation platform where children and young people meet to share opinions and experience democratic participation. The library is developed for public libraries, schools, and, of course, school libraries. The Sustainability Library proposes how to arrange and plan reading circles for the children. The Sustainability Library also consists of guidelines on how to organize the reading groups of children. And when you have a group, how to organize the reading and how to choose books. There are several books about each topic, so the kids don't have to read the same book. Further, activities um, for, for the activate the use of the sustainability library. Um, there are, um, the, the project have developed courses for teachers and for librarians on how to use the library. It is also made videos to inspire the use of this library and the book lists. And a lot of libraries like this one has just made their own videos to inspire their local community to use the, the sustainability library. And the library and the book list are also updated regularly with new materials. I need some water. The next project is called Upscale. It's about sustainable sharing. Upscale is a research project on sustainable sharing. And one topic in this project is how to use public libraries to increase the culture of sharing. The initiative for this project does not come from the libraries themselves. This is a project founded by the Research Council of Norway and the project manager is the Institute for Climate Research. The goal for this project is to find out what is needed socially and politically to increase the sharing culture. The project will study the library's opportunities for scaling up sustainable sharing, how to facilitate more sharing and coordinate local activities and the project wants to explore and demonstrate new sharing solutions. Sharing, borrowing, lending objects is considered as one important way to reduce private consumption. 
Many formal and informal initiatives for more sustainable consumption has emerged in local communities, like um, repairing workshops, local food production, flea markets, bike sharing, etc. In order to increase the sharing culture, libraries has been involved in this project because libraries is in a unique position in the local community and could be a driving force to promote more sustainable consumption and establish new systems for lending and sharing. Libraries has a concept of sharing already. Free access to information, lifelong learning and social inclusion. The library is often also located in a central area in town and easy accessible for the citizens. The project will try to find out what motivates people to share more. This project experiment on how you can use your library card to borrow tools in a shop instead of buying the equipment. With your library card, you could go to a hardware shop and borrow a jigsaw, a carpet cleaner, an impact drill, tools that you normally don't use that often. This project also tests something we called equipment library. How you may borrow equipment for outdoors activities, winter or summer sport equipment, hiking gear, etc. The equipment library is not only run by the public library, it could also be in a cooperation with an NGO like the Red, local Red Cross. The project will also find out how to include different groups in the population to share more on how to organize this kind of sharing. Um, the project have made some surveys and questionnaires for, for the users. And they know so far that sharing is popular in, uh, among all income groups. The desire to share is not about finances or poverty. It is the culture of sharing and the value it represents that is popular. It is perceived as modern. And it's more popular among young people and more popular among women. The survey also shows that the desire to own things is more common among the elderly. And it's sport equipment and hiking equipment that has borrowed the most. And people who borrow these kind of equipments from the library are very satisfied. And they also um, show that people who use this equipment library are people who normally use the public library frequently. Um, the motivation for the users is to get access to equipment they re you rarely use. And the aspect of climate and environment are also a big motivation. There are five libraries in Norway and two libraries in Denmark that participate in this project, and the project will end uh, in the end of 2023. Um, yes, then some more examples, small examples. Um, sustainability library map. You can see it on uh, the right. All libraries have or provide information and literature on sustainability. In addition, libraries carries out various activities and measures on sustainability goals. There were many good examples from the Czech libraries earlier this morning. The Norwegian Library Association made a digital map of the library's contribution. You open a digital map and click on the various sustainability goals and the libraries that have measures or activities within the target are highlighted. We made this map a couple of years ago. We contacted all the libraries and asked them to fill in uh, a digital form informing how the libraries contributed to the UN's uh, sustainability goals. This map is also meant to be used by the libraries in contact with their uh, local politicians or mayors to show that the libraries could be an important partner in achieving sustainability goals in the local community. Then you have the sustainability lab. 
at Bergen Public Library. Bergen is the second largest city in Norway. The goal of this project is to make changes in people's choices and habits, to increase the citizens' knowledge of sustainability and transform this knowledge over to skills. This sustainability lab will organize different courses, for instance, learn how to sew, a beginner's course for those who want to, to know the sewing machine, how to be able to repair your own clothes or to create your own fantastic outfit, maybe. The Sustainability Lab organizes also swap nights where you can exchange, for instance, vegetable seeds, accessories, clothes, etc. And the motto is good for the planet, good for your wallet. The second goal is to provide the citizens with knowledge and research material about sustainability. This will be done through a cooperation with the university library. University library has easily access to research and studies, and the public library has easily access to a broad section of the population. The project will explore different models for dissemination of research and sustainability, um, and invite researchers and experts for meeting, discussions, and talks. The library will also explore how the employees at the public library and the university library may form a stronger partnership and work closer together. This project has just started up and will continue until 2024. And it's funded by the National Library. Another speaker today talked about small steps to sustainability. And for this library, it started as a desire to stop wrapping the library books in plastic. Um, the inspiration come actually from a library in Finland. And then the library continued to work on how to reduce the use of plastic. The library stopped buying and using plastic bags, stopped using disposable cups and glasses, and any plastic items in the library. The library also reduced the use of printed leaflets, brochures, and flyers. And now the library are in the process of preparing the Ten Commandments for a sustainable library. These are some examples on sustainability in Norwegian libraries. Hopefully, this will work uh, and will we continue uh, this work and we can inspire each other. So thank you. And if there is any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to, to contact me. Thank you. Thank you. Could you stay with me, please? <laughs> tak, nakupili se nám nějaké otázky. Uh, what type of events do you prefer? Smaller or larger than 20 people? What do I prefer from? Events. Events, events in library. Oh. Smaller? Oh, both. Both? Yeah. Uh, yes, both. Um, they could be very intimate. Um, events, but big events also, um, it's fun to see that it attracts a lot of people if the, the experts or the, the talker is uh, interesting. So yeah, both. Okay, thank you. And um, how do commercial entities view lending items in libraries? How do commercial entities view lending items in libraries? Um, this project upscale where you could um, lend um, uh, from a hardware store, you went to the store, it was only, it's only a project where five libraries uh, in five different cities in Norway, so it was five also hardware stores where you could lend um, tools, and this was financed by the project. Mm -hmm. um, this hardware store is, um, is a quite um, big brand in Norway, and their goal is also to, to 
promote more information, not only just sell the equipment, because they, they see that people uh, don't need to buy, everyone don't need to buy a jigsaw. So they are also trying to, to be more sustainable and green. So this is also promoting uh, the brand. Yeah, maybe lending sports equipment <laughs> isn't it a betrayal of books. Maybe this one, <laughs> the second one. <laughs> um, yes, there is, um, there is a, um, a talk about that in Norway. What is, the, um, what is the library supposed to do? Are we supposed to lend all sorts of things? And what about li uh, literature, the knowledge, uh, the key uh, things that the library should um, work with? But it's also seen as a sustainability goal, um, a way to, uh, to, uh, to reach also people, to other kinds of people who normally use the, the library. So maybe you could, uh, you could lend them a sport equipment and a book, and a book at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is the border between support of civic involvement and politic, political agenda, which is inappropriate from the point of political neutrality? How to differ? Um, I'm not that afraid that the libraries shouldn't be too neutral. Um, they should be independent and be uh, a place where you can discuss everything. Um, there is um, a lot of talk about how the libraries in Norway uh, should be uh, a meeting place and an arena for public discussion and debates. And some library directors find it quite hard because it's not... Um, it's not often, it's not always popular to have um, a discussion which is probably, well, maybe controversial. Um, you may get negative attention uh, from it, but um, I think it is important for the libraries to, uh, to address current topics in the local society, even though if it's... Uh, controversial and maybe uh, difficult for the library director to, uh, to, to stand up for. Thanks. Does a high level of motivation to share require development of democracy in a society or less developed societies shared higher resources more naturally? I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess this. Thank you for uh, the question. <laughs> um, I guess this project upscale is going to do a lot of surveys um, about how to motivate people for more sustainable consumption. Um, so maybe um, this is something we'll find out about more later on. Okay. Thanks. When you say the upscale project ends in 2023, does that mean the libraries involved in the project just stop lending things? I know that um, the equipment libraries, um, the, the hiking gear, the sports equipment, uh, they have bought for this project. I guess it will be continue to, to lend it out as long as um, the equipment is uh, is okay, but I'm afraid that when the project ends and there is no more money, um, they go back to uh, to don't have this this uh, possibility. If it's not seen as a huge success and they and the libraries manage to get funding from elsewhere, that's the problem with projects. It starts and it ends. Tak ještě nějaký dotaz zde z pléna. Nemáme. OK. Thank you very much for patient too. <laughs> A přece jenom ještě jeden. <laughs> One more, please. 
what do you think would be a good replacement instead of plastic for books? Um, I know that the, the libraries who have stopped plasticking um, the books, um, they say it's, uh, it may be that the books don't uh, last that long, but it's not um, so different from, from, from plastic them, and I think it's, it's worth it. <laughs> 